Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading, not a horoscope, at least over here on YouTube. It's, it's, it's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Taurus influences your natal chart, these themes and these energies can be applied. Um, you can even apply it to a Taurus that you're dealing with outside of yourself. There is always an extended reading, however, and that, that is a full tarot card spread, and it goes into specifics and hashes out some details and personalizes the reading um, um, much more. And it also includes a full romantic interpretation of the reading as well. Um, so that link is below, and I do hope you join me over there. Now, if you want these videos hot off the press, because I make a new Taurus specific video every single week, then please do click subscribe <clears throat> and be sure to ring that bell so that you know when I go live and when I upload all the great content that you're looking for. Okay, Taurus, let's get into it. Whew. It's Tuesday and I feel like it's been a long week. I know, I always feel like some of you out there are, are like, weeks? What weeks? Like, what's a week anymore? Like, are we st still doing those, like, weeks? Is that, does that count anymore? <laughs> I kind of like, like I, don't, I don't really know, to be honest with you. All right, Taurus. 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 Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> You knew exactly what you needed to say, and there is a lot, but you know what? We're going to get through it all. Crowning your energy. Act as if and life is speeding up. As soon as I saw these cards, you know what I thought? I was like, you want to make a quick getaway. You want to be like a fly on the wall, waiting, 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 and then just take off. There is a duality to both these cards because this is Gemini energy, and this is a chameleon, right? Fitting in wearing the skin that you're in, pretending, almost like fake it till you make it, or just sort of like hiding yourself or hiding your true self until you have, until you have the opportunity to move in the direction that you want to go. This is about, this, this, this is about um, harmony or coming into like things twining into each other. Um, things like connection or a communion with something. And it's almost like you're trying to fit in but you don't feel a connection right now. But as soon as you do, you're going to jump on it. And I think that's what you are doing right now. You're waiting for that opportunity to just jump on um, what makes you, what, what inspires you. And I feel like there's, or there's a sense of something unraveling and something unfolding in front of your eyes, something that has been hidden from you or made to seem like it wasn't, um, made to seem like it was something else is starting to crumble and you may feel like betrayed. You may feel like, why would you say it was one thing when it was really the other? Why are you acting like this? This is Gemini. This is twin energy. So it's almost like, you know, you know, when you're twins and like they say, especially if you're identical twins, you can go in and you can like pretend like you can, you can fool your teacher and have the, the twin who's better at math, take the test and the other twins stay at home. Like that kind of energy is, all, but, but it's like, it's crumbling and it's almost like you just put it, you, you, someone, it's like someone tried to put, pull a switch on you and all of a sudden things are coming out. So both interpretations. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Let's get into it. Um, what energy wants to come out first? That one? That one? Let's do it. Trust in the great mystery. Enlightened. You're diving in deep. And I think that you're almost waking up. It's like cold water hitting your face and the truth coming out and you realizing what it is going on. And you're. it's almost like you're not even able to slowly acclimate to it Taurus you're just pushed in right and you're it's like sink or swim there's there's no time for you to learn how to swim or you know get your sea legs on there's no there's no time there's no time to, for the life vest or the life jacket or anything that would make you feel secure the only thing that's going to make you feel secure right now is faith and just diving in 
and being like, all right, well then the water's gonna carry me wherever it's gonna carry me and I just have to trust that it's not gonna drown me. Let me take one last deep breath so I have all that I can do and then just being totally immersed in a circumstance. Watch and wait. This is Piscean energy. Uh, five plus three is eight. So something that is destined, meant to be, or a guiding force of inspiration. This could also be father energy because uh, in the seahorse clan, fathers take care of the children. So it could just very well be, you could be learning something about your father, um, getting in deep or undercover or un discovering something that has to do with your father or your family, or worried of uh, being very concerned about a father figure in your life. Or, um, or it could just very well be like, um, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to get these words correct. Ooh, almost like staying, letting, standing back, trying to stand back, throwing your hands in the air. That's what it is. And it's like, I'm just going to wait to see what happens here because I don't really understand everything that's going on, but I do know that it's sort of a shock to my system. So right now, what I'm going to do is basically maybe trust in your guidance, trust in somebody's guidance, trust in the example being set by somebody else, because that's the only direction that you have right now. Mm. See the big picture also awakening. You're seeing farther than you have before. Um, you're seeing, you're seeing things very clearly. It's almost like you had, um, blinders on and now they've been removed and now you're seeing the whole 360 of the circumstance. You're getting the whole story. Now this is Taurus energy. This is you're grounded, you're safe, you're still, but you're far reaching. Now you can see everything that's going on, not just bits and pieces of it. So there is something that is coming out um, that maybe somebody tried to protect you from, if that makes any sense, because there is almost like a concern for you, maybe trying to protect you from being overwhelmed. But the truth is you want the truth. You want to see everything. You don't want to be protected. Time to let go, three plus one, four. Something that's been nagging at you, gnawing on you. Something has been kept hidden and I feel like psychically you knew it. You knew something was not right. Something was bugging you and it's been bugging you for a long time. This is your central energy, Taurus. So you knew something was going on, but at the same time, what was it and where was it coming from and you couldn't prove it. So you basically just had to sit back and let it reveal itself you're trying not to feel betrayed. You're trying to see the big picture and understand why somebody couldn't just come out and tell you what the heck was going on, but it's been bothering you. It's been gnawing at your heart. And it's almost like your emotional reaction is you're trying to let go. You're trying to give over and you're trying to believe what people tell you, even though you just found out they kept something from you. It's, but it's hard. It's very difficult. There is a little bit of a grudge that you have against them. Um, especially if there's somebody that you love and feel should have treated you better. Plus, you're, it, it, whatever this is, you might be also worried about the circumstance. Trust in divine detours. So um, go off-road. Um, don't expect things to stay the same. Um, this is a difference. This is a switch. This is a change and it is for your better. Uh, this is Sagittarius energy, chaos, chaotic energy. Um, take what you can get. Um, improvise. That's kind of the position that you're in right now and do the best with what you have. That's what you can do right now. That's what you have. So you've got, that's what you're going to do. You're going to try to make the best of it and trust that even though this seems like a betrayal, or it seems upside down and it almost makes you feel like you've been compromised. Like you've been caught off guard. You've been put into a circumstance where you're going to look bad or you, you're going to feel very vulnerable right now. And, and, and that's getting to you because it's worrisome. It's like, I, I got to roll over. I got to get back up on my feet, but I, I've just had the rug pulled out from under me. So I can't, I feel like stuck help. I've fallen in. I can't get up kind of thing. But maybe that was the point. I don't know. Let me let me get it more deeper into the reading. 
clear out the clutter. Yeah, eight plus two, this is the energy of 10. Growing up and realizing that what you've become was better than what you were, and you need to let, letting, and finally being able to let go of what you were, of who you were, of the past. Seeing that what you are now, even if it is somebody that has more responsibilities, even if it is somebody that knows too much, it's better than having been kept in the dark. Because there is a sense of, uh, you know, um, it was time. It was necessary. You had to, the tadpole can't stay a tadpole forever. It has to become a frog. But was it so great being a tadpole? It may feel like it's easier, but that's just because you're pushed around and susceptible to tides. As a frog, you have legs. And so you may be heavier, but simultaneously you can do more. You can go on to land, you know, and then you can swim in the water too. And you have more flexibility. So this is about... Um, letting go of the past, letting go of the idyllic vision of the past as if, because all it's going to do is torment you anyway, and realizing that what you have become or what the situation has become is actually something that was inevitable and something that offers a lot more flexibility. Hmm. Hmm. You could be dealing with Cancerian energy. Okay, take a leap of faith. Um, this is luck is on your side if you just trust in the direction that things are pulling you. So just dive right in. A sense of be honest or listen to your conscious. This is Jiminy Cricket card. Listen to your conscious and do the right thing. It's almost like believe in what you know is right. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, wow. Take the lead. It's like, take a leap of faith and take the lead. This is your time. This is energy of 13, uh, which adds up to four. Once again, four hooves firmly planted on the ground, connected with the ether, getting those messages, receiving them like antenna, like re reception from above. Um, this is um, knowing, knowing the way forward and being certain about it um, and knowing that now it's your time to be the one that steps out. It's almost like you've been tapped. When you get this card, it's like you've been tapped by spirit. You're the one that has to run the job from here on in. It's your time. This is a shift. This is a, this is a kind of life cycle shift. Uh, surrender now. Uh, nine plus three. 12 equaling up to three. This is crash and burn. That's what it is. It's, it's like a moth to a flame of, in other words, this is the inevitable. This was going to happen. You can't stop this from happening. This is also Sagittarius energy. For me, this is also almost about growing up, you know, as, as much as maybe people tried to protect you from it, or we tried, you tried to hold it off. It, you have to deal with it. You have to confront it. And it's the right thing to happen. It's, it's like, it's almost like a natural progression. Now is a lucky time, an opportunity for you to step up and, and gain a lot, make a lot. You know, this opportunity will lead you into great fortune and abundance. You have grass, hopper, hopper and rabbit spirit here. So the situation that you've been pushed into could also multiply your abundance. This is you could be getting pregnant. Um, you could be making a family. In other words, this could be you addressing your spouse and you taking the lead and saying, I'm ready. We need to start working on baby making. That kind of energy. Because this is my fertility card, so it could be babies are being made. But Taurus, that's almost like subplot. Like for you, this is this is an opportunity as uncomfortable it starts as it starts out. This is an opportunity for you to multiply your abundance. Uh, the abundant universe will provide. This is your energy. Very confident, competent. You have everything that you need. And I think that that's why you're being tapped because you are the one that has everything that we need. It's a sacred acknowledgement of the abundance and your capabilities. So somebody has faith. Somebody has faith in your ability to handle this circumstance and that's why they pushed you in the deep end because they know that you can swim 
Uh, five plus uh, two is seven. Magic works through you. This is also Cancerian energy of you being the conduit for what has to happen. You taking over as that cardinal for, I know you're a fixed sign, which means you usually put your energy into maintaining the status quo, which is why you are the Hierophant in the tarot because you maintain the status quo. Taurus maintains the status quo. Taurus is the institution. Taurus upholds the institution, but this is different. This is cardinal energy of making something new happen, or at the very least, allowing it to happen, you being the conduit for something new coming into this world, um, which also reckons back to um, babies being made, <laughs> um, or, or, or just something new, like a, a new vision, a new plan, a new project. Um, you're going to be the one that actually is kind of in charge of the healing. Your perspective, your input is what's going to be listened to now. Grounding your energy, Taurus, is be here now. I keep saying now, seven, you're working on something. This is, this is the energy of creation. So focusing on the present moment, not too far in the future and definitely not in the past. This is the way that you ground yourself and make yourself feel secure is focusing right here, right now on the things that you love and on the beauty that you can see in front of you because this is Libra energy. Libra is also ruled by Venus, uh, really the house of partnership, beauty in partnership, the beauty in togetherness, the beauty in the moment that we are in at this moment. This is what's going to ground you. The little things are going to ground you to remind you the sun still rises, the birds still chirp. There is joy and happiness and abundance, even if you're going through a difficult period. Uh, turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Uh, six plus two is destiny. So you don't have to rush into your destiny. You can trust and go with the tides. This is the energy of very mature Cancerian energy, almost like King of Cups energy. Knowing your self-worth, taking things slowly, and making it about you. Make, like Making the race about your enjoyment of the race and what fulfills you and not about what what others need or and not about competing with others right it's like letting go of all that stuff that is just going to get in your way tend to the small things something has been building for a very long time okay keep it light Something has been building for a very long time but this is also in the grounding energy it's more one foot at a time. Keep it light. Keep it playful. Don't make too much of anything. Take one step at a time. Let me flip the camera around so we can review this reading. It's quite a massive one. Hold on. And here we go. A big story that ends up looking like a crown. So this is you taking the lead, right? Uh, putting your crown back on assuming the position of authority, but in a more malleable way, in a way that is more sort of capable of seeing outside of the box and other people's experiences, incorporating multiple experiences, um, because it's like all of a sudden life has changed. And it's, it, it's a realization that Gee, you know, what I always depended on in my life and what I always thought to be true just came crumbling down. But instead of getting bitter about it or letting that make you not trust the world, instead it's almost like you allowing it to let you see the world in a larger way from a different perspective and in some ways enjoying the different perspective because when would you have gotten a chance any other time in your life to get this perspective and let it make you bigger. So you're taking what could be a very uncomfortable circumstance and, and allowing the growing pains to happen, accepting them, receiving them, and then turning them into something that hopefully will work for you. You got to take something one step at a time and go very, very slow. Something can be, there's intimidation. I feel intimidation here. I really do. 
not an in intentional intimidation by somebody, but, but just by the situation itself of having trouble stepping forward and, and feeling completely comfortable wearing this hat. But because this hat is a crown and the crown is a really heavy hat to wear, right? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Um, what is that? Henry the eighth, Henry, the, oh, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so a lot to think about. And right now I think the best thing for you to do and what's grounding you is to focus on the here and now and go one step at a time to keep it as light and light, light and easy to handle as possible. It's just what you need right now. I'm going to get deeper into this circumstance over in the extended please do join me Taurus and then also enjoy your romance reading over there as well the link is below I'll see you guys over there